Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Phenomenal Views. I am your host Nick Smith, and I just got done watching the sixth episode of Gotham. And holy crap, this episode, ooh, these episodes just get better and better with each one. Alright, so this episode, I honestly thought that this was going to have to do, spoiler alert, I thought this was going to have something to do with Victor Zaz, because the episode starts out with this bald guy talking in some language, and then all of a sudden he puts on a mask, I was like, aw oh, man, and then, he, then it's like, I am the spirit of the goat, and then we get Harvey Bullock, who with his former partner, I think it's either Dixon or just, or he just goes by Dick, uh, they found him, and they took him down, and um... Then Dix uh, got injured and he could no longer be a policeman. So then it fasts forward to present day and the kills are starting to happen again. Rich people are getting picked off. And ooh, something big is coming. I cannot wait. This was such a phenomenal episode. Um, uh, all right, so... We still get, we get how the major crimes unit, apparently there is a witness that points um, Gordon to the murder of Oswald Cobblepot, which we all know that's a pulp face lie. Um, so once again, it's up to these people to ring in, they're, they're trying to get Gordon. And um, so Barbara came back. Barbara and Jim have been talking, and she's like, look, you cannot carry this on, all on your own. You have to let me in, and I will stay if you will do that. And she's just, she's tired of living in secrets, and he's like, and she's like, look, I know that you're a policeman, but you have to tell me some things. And so she comes back, and they stay, but then eventually later in the episode, she runs into her former girlfriend, and she's like, look, we have evidence against your former boyfriend. Look, just get out of Gotham. I'll come, I will let you know when it's safe to come back. And she's like, look, if he gets arrested, I I need to stay here to be by his side. So, in this episode, what made this so special is the fact that this wasn't about Gordon, but this was about Harvey Bullock. This was a Harvey Bullock episode. And this, I think this is what made him be what he is because of what happened to his partner and because of all the stuff that happened. Because when you're a police officer, you see some messed up stuff. And maybe this is what made him the way he is. And so this episode just, cause this hits really close to him and they thought that they closed this, but when they start, but when he starts noticing this is not a copycat because the original killer would sew a penny in like the, in their head. Um, Harvey, it really takes a toll on Harvey and Harvey's like, this is, he can't be back. He's, it, this is not a copycat, but it cannot be him. So now it's up to Gordon to help uh, Harvey to take down this criminal, the goat. And so we see how this is going on. It's the rich people getting taken out, like um, um, this uh, other rich girl who almost gets sacrificed, but luckily Harvey and uh, Gordon come in time. And they find out that it's not the person that... Um, that they thought it was. It was a actually a janitor. And before that, we're we're we meet the family of the first girl that they found dead and the psychiatrist who's been helping um the family get by. And you and Bully notices that um he's doing some that one of the guys is doing something with his hand. And trust me, that does come up on later on in the episode. Trust me, everything makes sense. Um Fish is not in this episode, but Penguin is back in town. Penguin's back in Gotham. Well, actually, he's already been back in Gotham, but now his but his mother knows now that he's back in Gotham. So, you know, he's basically he's in the suit and he's all like, "There's someone I have a friend, mother." I'm honestly thinking you're gonna kill your own mother, aren't you? You twisted little freak. But he doesn't kill her. She just bathes him, and it was kind of weird. Trust me, it was really weird. Um, and so. Oh, there's just so much stuff that happened in this episode. Even Alfred, it, when, actually Bruce doesn't even come into the episode until like 30 minutes in. This episode, they really gave Harvey Bullock something to do besides just bicker with, um, with Gordon, and it was just so awesome. Uh, Bruce was kept out of the episode. Even though the episode, sh the show should be kind of about him, it's good that they're taking a step back to focus on the minor or the other characters other than Gordon and Bruce and it was it was just 
it was awesome. The character development for him is phenomenal. It, it, it really is. And Bullock has to even go see his own his own part his old partner and talking about like, look, did you say anything to this person? Did you tell anyone about this? He's like, no, no one did. And and I honestly thought for a minute there, wait, what if it's him? But then we find we come to find out it's not him. Something funny, Enigma tries to hit on a woman in this episode. And this, uh, and when they showed her, I honestly, I was wanting it to be Harley Quinn. I was like, please say Quinn. It wasn't Quinn. I was like, dang it. And so like, he's trying to develop a crush on her. Or he, he has a crush on her. He's trying to sweet talk her and he's really bad at it. And um, sorry for messing with my hair. He's really bad at it. So he takes her whole filing system and puts it in order that he likes. And she just gets really pissed off. And he's like, I think this is inappropriate. Gee, I don't know what woman would. What? No, usually women love when a straight when a man they already find weird breaks in their office and rearranges things. Every woman loves that. Every woman loves that. You freak. Um, and she's and like she talks about gosh the riddles. Please stop with the freaking riddles. And then that's pretty much all we get. We do get some more with about how he's always talking in riddles and everybody hates it. Literally everyone hates it. Everyone is tired of him. They want him to piss off. <laughs> um, when when Barbara goes to see her former uh, girlfriend, Jim gets back home and she's like, look, they have a warrant for your arrest. Let's just run away. You can tell me anything. Just let's run away together. And Gordon's like, I'm not going to run from this. I will not run. And so, unfortunately, Jim does get arrested. But the the battle with um, with Bullock, Gordon, and the new goat is pretty awesome because freaking um, Bullock takes him out, but um, Gordon finishes him off, and he and he says who the former killer was. He's like, "You aren't you're under arrest." And uh, Bullock's like, "Not bad, partner. Not bad." Um, and. Uh, <laughs> So then they they find out he Bullock is still going to work on this case. So he's like, we've got to be missing something because this makes no sense. One minute, the killer's like, oh, I'm going to kill you. Then all of a sudden, he's all calm. But it's then when uh, he notices something's up with the killer, the killer's like stretching it, like flinching his hand. And he's like, oh, my gosh. So then he goes back to the doctor and he's like, I want to talk to the father of the first victim. He's like, I want to talk about uh, about something with your case. And the doctor's like, look, he's not in a mental state to talk right now. And he's like, I seen earlier that he was clenching his hand. And she's like, ah, yeah, he does do that. And we come to find out that Bullock looked that up and it's something like whenever they have a bad or negative thought and they do that. So then we come to find out that the goat is a conspiracy it's kind of a conspiracy theory but what the doctor pretty much believes is that gotham needs something like this to happen it's what she's like it's what gotham wanted gotham wanted a psycho killer killing off the rich people because i guess she i think she was like the rich people feed off us and practically spit on us and so her harvey starts to arrest her and then all of a sudden she's like hey Kill him for me. He goes on a rampage. I don't remember if Harvey kills him or not. I think he just knocks him out. But uh, when she's running, he shoots her in the arm and then he arrests her. And the episode ends with Jim Gordon being pulled into the GCPD. And he's like, look, I did not kill Oswald Cobblepot. And then Harvey Bullock gets arrested. And then all of a sudden the episode ends with Oswald Cobblepot coming in the doors of the Gotham City police department he's like hello everyone and just the look on his face he's like oh this is gonna be fun Whew. oh man Whew. something bad is gonna happen next uh, the next episode i cannot wait for episode seven gotham gets better and better every episode it's like arrow arrow season three is doing good right now and for gotham's first season yeah it started out slow but every single episode upon that has been has gotten better and it just keeps getting better and nothing but better I strongly recommend that you guys watch this episode I hope that you have enjoyed the episode so far um 
Please put in the comments below what was your favorite thing about this episode. I really hope that you guys are, in, are enjoying this half of the season. Guys, have a good night.